Hello, and welcome to Electronic Trip Level Reporting. This video series will introduce you to the online Electronic Trip Level Reporting website called SAFIS and show you how to log in, how to use the website, how to enter data, how to enter did not fish reports, as well as a variety of other things. This first video will introduce you to the program and will show you how to log in to the eTrips application. First, what is electronic reporting? So we have an online application that's available for users to directly enter their trip report data, and it's called eTrips. eTrips is housed in SAFIS, which is the Standard Atlantic Fisheries Information System, which is hosted by the Atlantic Coastal Cooperative Statistics Program otherwise known as ACCSP. Now DMF, as well as many other state agencies, do use SAFIS to house all of our catch report data, and your historical data submissions for an active permit will be available for you to view on your account as well. So how would you get started? First, you can choose electronic reporting when you renew your permit for this year, or when purchasing a new permit. If you've already chose paper reporting and would like to switch to electronic, please call or email the statistics program to request an account. Once you've requested an account, you'll receive two emails. The first will indicate that we've switched you over to electronic reporting, and the second will actually include your account information, such as your login credentials, information about the program, links to the website, and it'll even give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to enter a did not fish report. Now that you have an account, you're ready to start entering data. Once you get your email with the login credentials, you can use them to sign in to SAFIS. I recommend that you watch these videos for more information on how to enter the did not fish reports, how to enter positive trip reports, how to enter your sales from CAR, and you can view a variety of different types of reports of your data. Now what happens if you can't figure anything out? That's not a problem. Please refer to these videos for step-by-step -step instructions, but you can also contact us by phone or email if you still have questions. We are available Monday through Friday during business hours, and we will get back to you via email as soon as possible. More information and frequently asked questions can be found on our website. So this first video, we're going to go through how to log on to the program. Let's get started. You have several options on how to log into the program. Option number one, you can navigate to our DMF website which is www.mass.gov slash marine fisheries. Then you would go to commercial fishing, go to trip level reporting, and then from here you can click on the eTrips login page link right here. Option number two, you can navigate to accsp.org and choose the link shown here. Now, there are a couple options. You can actually click on data center, go to SAFIS, or you can go the easy route and just actually click on this login to save this applications link right here. The third option is you can choose the link that's found in your email with your login credentials. Should be directly underneath where your username and password are given. Should be a link that says www.mahi and a bunch of other letters. You can click on that and that will bring you directly to the login page. Now I'm going to log into the program. To do so, I'll just use this link here. This brings me to the SAFIS applications. I've already signed in once in this session, so that's why my username is saved there. But I'll enter my username, my password, and I can click Log On. If you ever forget your password, you can click Forgot Password here and go through the steps to reset it there. Click Logging In. This is the welcome page when you sign into the application. You can always change your password here. Your home and your logout button are here. Home brings you back to this screen. And then this says Safest Electronic Trip Reports eTrips Fisher. This is what you want to click on to access the eTrips application. Clicking on that button brings you into the eTrips application welcome screen. On the right, you have your message of the day. Check back here for important announcements from DMF. Then if you have any questions, it gives you our phone number there as well. The questions can be on how to look up something, how to find a vessel, how to find a port, how to enter a trip. Any of those questions can be answered by any of our staff. On the left-hand side, you have your gray navigation box, which has five choices. In trip reports, that's where you would enter a positive trip or a trip where you actually do have something to report. 
Negative reports is where you would enter your did not fish reports. Favorites is where you set up your defaults. You can set up defaults for uh, port, vessel, gear, species, dealers, dispositions, a variety of things. And what setting up your favorites does is it makes entering a trip report very simple. Setting up your favorites can usually take the most amount of time, but once you do that, then entering your data should be very simple and quick. Fisher info, that's your own information, that's your name, address, birthday, license information, etc. Listed for you to view. If you need to change anything, you can do so. However, if you do change something, please note this does not change it with our permitting office. I'll click on it now. You can see you can add an address, you can add an email, etc. But you would still have to contact the permitting office in order to make the change official with the state. The last option is the reports menu, and that is where you can view some of your, your data. You can sort trips by date, you can look at the last year, the last month, the last week. You can sort trips by species, you can pull out all the trips that had just striped bass. There are a variety of options in that menu. Now we will have videos that will go through each of these top three buttons in the reports menu. So please view them to get further detailed information on how to actually do your data entry. This was just an overview of the program and what it looks like when you sign in. If you have any questions, please contact us at the phone number or email listed here. And you can also find additional information on our website. Thanks for watching.